WWE's Divas era is long gone, but the women who performed under that moniker undoubtedly paved the way for the women's division of today. Here's what they're doing now. For better and worse, Sable essentially defined what it meant to be a WWE diva. When many fans think of Sable, they think of multiple Playboy covers, bra and panties matches, and bikini contests. In spite of, or possibly because of, these raunchy moments, she was considered one of the WWF and later WWE's biggest stars at the time. The massive mainstream media attention she attracted led her to portray a Hollywood bad girl, which also had her performing more aggressively in the ring. Sable reigned as women's champion for around six months in 1998 and 1999. Sable left WWE for good in 2004 following a feud with Stephanie McMahon over a storyline relationship with Stephanie's father, Vince. Real name Rena Lesnar, she is still linked to the company by her husband Brock Lesnar, but hasn't attended any of his WWE matches, unlike when she could be seen cheering him on when he was in the UFC. The couple live on a farm in Saskatchewan with their two children, Turk, 14, and Duke, 13. Sable will always be remembered as a pioneer for women in the wrestling ring during the Attitude Era, smashing glass ceilings for others who came after her. Tori Wilson spent two years in WCW, where she played the part of a manager for the likes of David Flair, Billy Kidman, and more. She received some actual wrestling upon making the move to the WWF in 2001. She had notable ring rivalries with many of her fellow divas, including Stacey Keebler and Sable. She had her most memorable feud against Don Marie after Don Marie attempted to seduce Wilson's real-life father, Al. Though she made quite an impact in her time in WWE, she never held a championship in the company. She retired from wrestling in 2008 when her WWE contract wasn't renewed. Since moving on from the ring, she started her own business, Tori Wilson Fit, where she's an online fitness instructor and blogger. The former diva made her way back into a wrestling ring in 2018 during the first-ever Women's Royal Rumble match. She also competed at the first all-women pay-per-view, WWE Evolution, in a battle royal later that year. Wilson was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2019. On an episode of Busted Open, Wilson said wrestling changed her outlook. It forced me to like find this version of me that like I never would have found otherwise. Stacey Keebler also got her start in WCW, first as a dancing Nitro Girl and then as a valet under the name Miss Hancock. She jumped to the WWF in 2001 after its purchase of WCW. While she was initially a valet and manager, she trained to compete in the ring and had memorable matches against the likes of Trish Stratus, Victoria, and Molly Holly. Like her WCW co-worker, Tori Wilson, Keebler never held the WWE Women's Championship. Keebler officially left the company in 2006. That was also the same year she competed on Dancing with the Stars and won third place. Since leaving WWE, she's appeared on TV series including Chuck, Psych, and How I Met Your Mother. She also briefly dated George Clooney. The mother of three says she's a lover of holistic wellness and health and even co-founded a men's skincare line. Keebler is one of the most recent divas to head into the Hall of Fame, inducted in 2023. Kelly Kelly made her debut in the revamped ECW in 2005, appearing as though she was about to flash audience members during her extreme expose segments. Kelly trained more and grew in the ring, even once holding the Divas Championship in 2011. Though Stacey Keebler appeared in a 2008 issue of Maxim Magazine after leaving WWE, Kelly was the first active WWE diva to appear on its cover at the end of 2011. Kelly left WWE in 2012, but has since made appearances in the Women's Royal Rumble match. Real name Barbie Blank, the star gave birth to twins in 2023. Before giving birth, Blank had been working with numerous fashion brands, and most recently a maternity brand. Blank also has an OnlyFans account where she shares videos and photos. Christy Hemi charmed WWE audiences with her victory in the 2004 Diva Search, which won her $250,000 and a one-year contract with the company. Hemi was mostly involved in the Divas era fashion shows, pillow fights, and other antics before seriously training to become a wrestler. She left WWE in 2005 and became one of the original TNA knockouts, as well as a ring announcer in the company. The Diva Search winner is now a mother, often posting photos of her five kids on Instagram. After her initial run with TNA, Gail Kim told Busted Open that Hemi, as of 2022, was working behind the scenes for the company. She is also still making fitness-related appearances throughout the country.
Ivory got her start in wrestling in the 1980s in Glow, the all-women's promotion that inspired the Netflix series of the same name. Ivory got to the WWF in 1999, and it didn't take long for her to capture the women's championship, which she did three times. Ivory was also infamously one of the leaders of the Right to Censor faction during the Attitude Era. The diva competed in WWE until 2004 and retired in 2006 after about a dozen matches on the independent scene. She was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2018. The real-life Lisa Moretti now owns her own dog grooming business as well as an animal shelter. Victoria was one of the most unique divas in her era of WWE. She debuted as a wrestler in a 2002 episode of WWE Sunday Night Heat. The master of the Widow's Peak had her share of hardcore matches and faced the likes of legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. She was also, alongside Lita, one of the first women to ever compete in a steel cage match in WWE. She held the women's championship twice before leaving the company in early 2009. Victoria, real name Lisa Marie Varon, opened a wrestling-themed restaurant in Chicago called The Squared Circle in 2013. It's really exciting, and we have memorabilia all over the walls. All my friends, my co-workers donated uh, their outfits. But it unfortunately closed four years later. She now hosts the Grown Ass Women television podcast alongside SoCal Val and Mickey James. The 52-year-old also has Cameo and OnlyFans accounts. After getting her start in WCW as Macho Man Randy Savage stablemate Miss Madness, Molly Holly jumped to WWE in 2000, where she had a range of gimmicks. She was originally a cousin of Hardcore and Crash Holly, but then teamed with the Hurricane as superhero character Mighty Molly. She then adopted her pure and wholesome character and feuded with Victoria, to whom she lost a hair versus title match at WrestleMania 20. Her head was shaved, driving her to the brink of insanity in a memorable storyline. Holly left the company in April 2005, making occasional appearances in independent matches. She has occasionally returned to in-ring action in WWE for Women's Royal Rumble matches, the most recent being in 2022. She was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2021. These days, Holly, real name Nora Benshoff, is a backstage producer for WWE. Jazz was one of the toughest WWE divas of her time, competing in many grueling matches. The star defeated Trish Stratus twice for the Women's Championship, and she even competed in a hardcore championship match, something women very rarely did at the time. Jazz initially left the company in 2004 but would return in 2006 and join the ECW brand. She competed with top women in the company, including Mickey James, but never won the championship again. Jazz left the company for good in 2007. She and her husband, Rodney Mack, now own a wrestling school and gym. Jazz also competed in Impact Wrestling and the NWA, where she had a historic reign as their world women's champion, holding the gold for 948 days before vacating the title due to medical and personal reasons. Don Marie may be best remembered for her scandalous storylines, including blackmailing Tori Wilson through the seduction of her father, Al. Marie debuted in ECW in 1998 as Lance Storm's valet, then hopped to WWE in 2003 after ECW went bankrupt. The star was released from her contract in 2005 after revealing she was pregnant, which led to a lawsuit that was settled out of court. Leaving wrestling has allowed the real-life Don Marie Saltis, who is now a mother of two, to pursue another of her dreams, becoming a nurse. She worked as a nurse throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. According to her Facebook page, she also is passionate about holistic healing and runs an alternative health service in New Jersey that uses crystals. Former fitness model and bodybuilder Caitlyn joined WWE in 2010 after winning an all-women's season of NXT back when it was a reality competition show. When the former diva started with WWE, she aligned herself with AJ Lee and the duo became known as the Chick Busters. Caitlyn also competed at Survivor Series in a match that pitted her team against the cast of the e-reality show Total Divas. The star held the Divas Championship for a few months prior to retiring at the beginning of 2014. The real-life Celeste Bonin returned for two matches in the 2018 May Young Classic Tournament, signaling that she'd be open to a longer comeback. But the star has only appeared sporadically on the indie scene. Bonin, who has been open about her recovery from drug and alcohol addiction, is currently working as a transformational speaker and coach. From being John Bradshaw Layfield's image consultant with a facial growth eaten by the boogeyman to a terrible pop star, Jillian Hall was a unique character from the start of her WWE career in 2005. 
The wannabe pop star diva even released an in-character album, A Jingle with Jillian, on iTunes for the holidays in 2007. While her gimmicks were often silly, Hall defeated Mickie James in 2010 to capture the Divas Championship, though she lost it immediately after. Hall left the company in November 2010. Hall, whose real name is Jillian Fletcher, is now a mother. She remains active as a fitness model on her Instagram account. Initially debuting as the ultra-flexible manager for MNM starting in 2003, Melina eventually started wrestling herself, accomplishing quite a bit. Melina left WWE in August of 2011, having won three WWE Women's Championships and two Divas Championships. She was the first woman in company history to be a multi-time champion with both the Women's and Divas titles. After a 2022 appearance in the Women's Royal Rumble match, Melina, who has a last name in real life, Perez, revealed WWE had no plans in place for her in spite of the amazing crowd response. Now the star is the director of wrestling operations for Ultimate Women of Wrestling. She is also still taking bookings throughout the independent scene and doing signings and appearances. Eve, also known as Eve Torres in WWE, trained at the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu Academy and won the Divas Championship three times. She participated in high-profile romance storylines with Zack Ryder and John Cena in 2012. She won the 2007 Diva Search and made history by becoming the first Diva Search winner to win the Divas Championship in 2010. She also served as the executive administrator to John Laurinaitis on both Raw and SmackDown. Eve left the company in 2013. These days, Torres is an instructor for the Gracie Women Empowered Self-Defense Program, which she co-founded. She is also the co-inventor with her husband, Henner Gracie, of the Sleeper Hold Pillow, a travel pillow for frequent flyers. My neck would be incredibly sore for days after each flight from sleeping in such awkward positions. Jacqueline Moore was the first black woman to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2016. She jumped from WCW to the WWF in the summer of 1998 and immediately made her mark as one of the most dominant women on the roster. She was first paired with Mark Marrow and defeated Sable to win the WWF Women's Championship. She also refereed both men's and women's matches before leaving WWE in 2004. Jacqueline did a stint with TNA. She was also a trainer for WWE Tough Enough when the reality show first began. According to her account on X, formerly known as Twitter, she's still doing wrestling-related appearances and signings. Candice Michelle made her mark on WWE history by becoming the first Diva Search contestant to win the Women's Championship. Michelle didn't win the 2004 competition, but would be signed to Raw anyway. Michelle achieved mainstream fame as a result of a popular Super Bowl commercial promoting GoDaddy.com, which led to a minor WWE push. Michelle trained with Arn Anderson and went on to defeat the likes of Trish Stratus, Melina, and Mickie James throughout her career. The real-life Candice Beckman was released by the company in 2009 due to multiple injuries, including a major concussion. These days, the former diva is a wife and mother, as well as a crisis coach, who even gave a TED Talk in 2018. Through her website, Michelle offers life coaching as well as champion training.